I'm gonna make some coleslaw. What better place to get my cabbage than from my own garden? Here's my squash, uh, not my squash, my cabbage. And I've noticed that our cabbage has been eaten quite a bit. But as you can see, it's pretty gross. But the solution I've decided is that I'm just gonna tear off the gross looking leaves, rinse it really well, and down inside there is gonna be a good cabbage head. For next year, we're gonna have to do something if I have the energy. So if you guys know any natural ways to get the cabbage moths to not ruin your cabbage then please let me know but technically I figure it's not actually ruined I can tell that they haven't eaten down very deep so it's still intact and it's still good for making coleslaw I've got it all cleaned up now it's looking really good So most of the time I only use half a head, so I think I'll do that today. I'm just trying to get some of those eaten spots off. I cut yeah. our biggest That's cabbage. It's really big. Wow. So big, I wanna eat it. That's really mm -hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. so fun to look at. You gotta look inside. I wanna eat some! Mm. Okay, I'm gonna move these. This is spicy. Careful of your fingers, okay? Mm -hmm. Mommy is getting cabbage, right? Mm-hmm. Yummy. So yummy. So we've got a nice full bowl of shredded cabbage. Next, I'm gonna add my mayo and my seasoning and my vinegar. Well, here's yesterday's painting. We failed to mention that this one is also up for auction. So go ahead and click the link below if you are interested in bidding on this painting. And go ahead and visit Trent's art only channel if you want to see him paint it, it's a process that took him maybe half an hour, I think. And so yeah, if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and click those. So after you're done cutting up your cabbage and to very small pieces, then you're gonna want to grate one whole onion into the mix as well. Because we forgot. Yep, we gotta do it, we don't wanna forget. I'm just kidding, I was just doing onions, so that's why I'm crying. <laughs> um, so the next thing I like to do is add a couple carrots. We just grate those in, and it's just really fun. It's like confetti. We use this as one whole meal. My family really loves it, and it can basically quench our hunger good enough that we don't have to cook anything else. So that's nice. Most of the time it's prepared as a side dish. Um, a lot of recipes for coleslaw um, use sugar added. We do not. Um, we think it tastes great without. Sugar! Without sugar. 
Okay, so I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in it, and I think I'm gonna put some celery seed in here. We'll see. I know I want mustard. The girls are making dinner. So I don't know where the mustard spice is, so I'm gonna use mustard condiment, which is basically mustard spice ground up into a powder mixed with vinegar. So not a hard recipe at all. And you it's can't free. When you use it your garden. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our recipe and we're gonna go enjoy our rest of our day with Daddy, the birthday boy. Yay! We love our birthday daddy! That's right. Aw. Sweet girl. Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 Is it good? That's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's easy to make coleslaw if you like this recipe. Yep. Making coleslaw? Yeah, do you like that? Make it for I Dad's like birthday. Thank you.